ladies and gentlemen, it is June the 27th, and we know what that means. That's right, Steam Summer Sales. So they're not bad deals today, and in this Red Gaming Tentacom video, we're going to be going through all of them. And I think the best one to start with, since, well, it's showing at the top left, at least on my screen, would be, for $4.99, Dios X. And that's 75% off, and to clarify for those of us who are not living in the US, you're going to be paying a grand total of, actually, £3.24, not bad. This is a director's cut, which means you get additional shinies, and others a little bit of DLC, and if you're a bits and bobs. I don't really have anything bad to say about Dios X, actually. Um... There have been a few criticisms regarding the graphics and their orangey tone, but I don't really have a major problem with that. Graphically, on the PC, it's pretty nice. I mean, sure, there are a few textures where you think, hmm, I wish that was slightly better, but overall, not too bad at all. Storyline is pretty tight, and to be honest, the main reason you're going to want to play the game is the storyline, even over the gameplay. One slight issue I have with it is it does reward you a lot more for being non-killy. And I understand that the game does have some stealth elements, but at the same time I don't particularly like how a game advertises itself to be open world, but then gives you more experience points by doing a certain path. That's not necessarily how I personally would like. I think instead it should just give you different rewards, as in terms of skills and different options and gameplay elements, that type of thing. My own personal opinion. With all of that said, the levels are also a little bit smaller than, say, the original DSX. But... With all of that, taking into consideration, it's still a really good game, and I would recommend you picking it up. Next one would be Payday 2. There's actually a demo of this available, so you might want to check that. But it's 80% off, which means it's going to cost you a measly $5.99, or us Brits get not too screwed over five. Sorry, I'm I'm sorry, $4.59. The idea here is pretty simple. It's Basically, a multiplayer co-op type of shooter where a group of you takes control of, well, thieves. And the idea here is, of course, you're trying to rob certain banks or whatever. There's not really much to say about this one because there's a demo of it. So ultimately, the fact that it's actually very playable and very popular with online still, but ultimately, any of that is useless to say. Personally, I'll just recommend that you try it out um, with the demo. Next one, an early access title, so you know the usual buyer beware here. Nineteen ninety nine for Azeta Corsa, hopefully pronounce that correctly. That would be dollar price. For us Brits, it's not too bad of a price, fourteen ninety nine. Despite the fact that it is early access, early signs and indications appear to be good. It does have, of course, a couple of bugs here and there, but it doesn't seem to be a steaming pile of crap, which it's almost synonymous with early access indeed this one seems to be pretty damn solid and a playable and fun racing experience i would do the normal thing of suggesting that you go ahead and do a little bit of checking just to make sure there aren't any major 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 bugs on this one but it would appear that it's everything's fine and if you're interested in this type of racing game you could certainly do worse personally i would recommend that you just go ahead and check out a few videos do a little bit of googling to see if the direction that they're taking in the game is what you want remember that you're buying early access in terms of the where you want the idea to end up so, don't just buy it for what the current features are, but buy it for where you eventually hope for the title to end. And remember, there's, I don't think, at least yet, they've given an indication of when early access is going to end. So, just remember that. Anyway, War Game, Red Dragon. There seems to be a glut of these RTSs right now, but this one's 40% off. That's $23.99. That would be dollars. For us Brits, we're going to be paying an okay price, $17.99, um, which isn't too bad. I honestly haven't personally played this one. From what I'm gathering on Metacritic and other websites, it scores pretty well. Um, Steam reviews are also fairly positive. For the price off, it's not too bad. Graphics look reasonable. General thing, the only problem is this Steam sale, to be honest, has been absolutely sodding well swamped with RTS. So, if you've still got some space in your inventory, you could certainly pick it up. I'm not saying it's a bad game or anything like that. Um, it looks like it's doing fairly well. 
Speaking of early access, we have another one, Space Engineers. So this one is thirteen thirty nine, a fairly odd price, and that's 33% off. And for us Brits, you're going to be paying an actual pretty good price as well, £10, 4 pennies, which is fairly strange, but regardless. So it is early access, so once again, same thing applies. Make sure that you're happy with the state of the game right now, because once again, just because... The game's doing well in reviews doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be happy with the features that are or are not included. So, for example, if the game's not fully finished, there may be features that you like the idea of that are simply omitted right now simply because they haven't finished putting them in. But regardless, this is a voxel-based open-world title. And I don't really think it requires much explanation because the name pretty much does... Um, what it says on the tin. The idea here is that you create a specific environment and you can set certain things regarding the environment, the starting equipment, um, and you get to control basically an astronaut slash space engineer and then you build um, basically space stations and other bits and bobs to create your world. It sounds a really cool idea actually. Personally, I'd recommend you check it out. Um, it certainly seems to be doing pretty well. For example, it actually won the fourth best indie game of 2013 award. That was from IndieDB, which isn't exactly something to be sneezed at and generally means that it's going to be in a state of reasonable um, repair. So, for 80% off, $5.99, we have a Grand Theft Auto 4 and all of its additionals so this is basically the complete gta 4 pack unfortunately gta 5 not quite yet but we do of course know it's coming uh for 5.99 on the pc as well so uh, sorry in uk as well so us brits get royally screwed here once again same thing i don't feel that many people don't know what gta is um the PC version actually looks really nice and can be modded for absolutely ridiculous graphics, so don't even take the screenshots as, like, this is the final product. And particularly if you're modding with, like, ENDB, texture mods and stuff, it just, it makes basically the console versions just quite embarrassing to look at. And, of course, does support keyboard, mouse, key, um, and controller, loads of other mods as well. So, this is not just a situation where you've got to play the base game, you can mod the game to hell, and you can even play as Incredible Hulk in one of the mods, for Christ's sake, or even Iron Man. Definitely pretty awesome. I don't feel many people don't know what this title is about, so go ahead and pick it up. Transistor. $14.99. That's 25% off, so not exactly the steepest discount in the history of mankind, but still... And us Brits get to play 11.24 for the same title. Scores really well. I'm almost positive we did a first impressions of this, or I believe, I believe Demata did, but apparently we didn't, so I can only think we got a code and we just didn't use it for some stupid reason. Regardless, this is a very solid title, um, and all of the resolution is, of course, so it's created for full 1080p resolution or above, fully customized all controls, and honestly speaking... It's a really awesome title. Um, this is definitely one of those games that gets pretty much a thumbs up in the media. All the major websites like it, and for once I completely agree with what the major websites said. So, if you're interested in an RPG, check, definitely check it out. It has a certain isometric style to it, which is almost slightly reminiscent of Bastion, but the gameplay is a little bit different. Um, so, yeah. Next up, we have Tropico. Is available for 85% off or $2.99. That would be US dollars. Meanwhile, us Brits get it for $2.24, which isn't a shabby price, I'm sure you'll agree. So, there's a demo of this one available. It's a fairly old game, to be honest. It was released, well, old is, of course, a relative term. It's almost, well, about three years old now. It's released in 2011. So, the idea here is that you are effectively playing almost as a El Presidente. So that's pretty much either a dictator or a benevolent ruler, depending on... So I'm going to say many of you are going to be dictator of the island in the Banana Republic. So the game is what I've been told uh, is actually considered, I suppose, to be almost like The Sims if you were a dictator, which I guess is kind of is being a dictator if you're playing The Sims, but regardless. And as I said, 
contains a couple of tu the demo apparently um, contains a couple of tutorial mission as uh, missions as well as a campaign mission, but there are a lot of stuff, that, a lot of buildings that are just simply unable to be uh, accessed simply because it is a demo. At the end of the day, it's been told to be a pretty solid title, and well, at the end of end of it. That's pretty much all you can ask for for the price. You might as well just cough up, in my personal opinion, if this is the type of RTS slash building slash, uh, well, dictatorship that you're looking for. Next, for seventeen ninety nine, that's forty percent off. Age of Mythology X, that's EX. Um, that's seventeen ninety nine in US dollars. Us Brits get to pay thirteen seventy nine. So it is okay in terms of pricing, I guess. I can honestly say that I don't know too much about this. Looking at reviews and stuff, it's fairly mixed. Some people have gone really negative, some have gone positive. Graphically, it's not exactly the most pretty of titles. I mean, it doesn't look awful, but it certainly isn't going to win any super awards. As I've said, definitely do some checking because Metacritic and Steam and everyone else are giving different opinions and I can't offer one. I mean, the quicker going to flash sales, at least the ones that I've personally played, um, Alan Wake, not much to say other than just buy it. Incredible game. F1 2013, pretty solid. Octodad, I can say that I haven't played. Rios is a very solid title as well, so if you're interested. Um, as for Community Choice, I've mentioned, I've talked a lot about Age of Empires HD before, but definitely worth your investment. But the other three titles, that would be Fear, Star Wars, and System Shock 2, what are you waiting for? Just spend your money, please. They are really good titles. Um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. I need to do some checking, actually, regarding Windows 8. I think it's okay, but I'm not 100% certain. So you do some checking on that. I, I'm going to do a bit of my own. But I do remember I got it working on Windows 7 okay, but Windows 7 isn't the same as Windows 8, as we well know. Anyway, I think that's just about it for this particular video. So, I'll see you soon. Take care, and bye for now.